John had a passion for playing piano from a young age. Due to his love for music, he was able to learn even the most difficult notes in a short period of time. With the dream of joining the ranks of the best pianists in the world, he kept practicing every single day till he had a stage for himself. By seeing the huge crowd in front of him, John felt nervous, but just after a few seconds into his performance, he was completely relaxed and highly concentrated on what he was doing. He forgot himself, the past, and the fact that he was on a stage with thousands of pairs of eyes watching him. He felt like his hands were moving on their own, he felt happy, nothing mattered to him except what he was doing at that moment, time seemed to have completely stopped, until he finished his performance and the crowd let out a roaring cheer after being immersed in his performance for two hours. John felt a great satisfaction from the praises he was showered with, but more than the cheers and claps from the crowd, he wanted more, of what he had just experienced. This magical experience John had while he was performing is called, the flow state of mind. Great artists, inventors, and entrepreneurs are able to break through their peak performance and create something so unique, something out of this world, only because they get into this state and maintain laser focus on their work. The flow state of mind is also referred to as mindfulness, because when we get into this state, we have complete control on our consciousness. This state of mind is attained when there's a perfect balance between your skills and the challenge, and when you pour all your concentration into doing one thing at a time. It makes you forget about yourself and everything else till your creation is complete. Whereas the result of the output you get from multitasking is going to get no recognition, and most importantly, you won't be satisfied with it. Everyone would have experienced the flow state at some part of their lives. A simple example of the flow state every one of us would have experienced is when we would have taken an exam after studying really hard. During situations like these, when we know what we're doing, we automatically get into the flow. And of course, this state is achieved most of the times when playing video games as well. And we do something we love, and when our skills match the challenge, the flow state of mind is naturally achieved without our knowledge, or without us trying to achieve it. But to enter the flow state while doing something we're not interested in, voluntary steps are to be taken in order to guide our mind into the flow. The first and most important step is to relax. Sit in a comfortable position and close your eyes. Just focus on nothing but your breath for 3 to 5 minutes. Clear your mind from all the thoughts and distractions. Keep your mind empty for a few minutes. While you're doing so, imagine your body and mind growing lighter from every breath you let out. After you've realized you have got control of your mind, open your eyes and shift all your concentration from your breath to the work you're about to get done. The next method is called the Pomodoro Technique. This method is used by working for 25 minutes and taking a break for 5 minutes. If you're a procrastinator, this method can help you overcome the time-killing habit and manage your time efficiently. Break down your work into small tasks which would not take more than 30 minutes to complete. And between every task, take a 5-minute break. This gives you a satisfaction that you have completed something, and the breaks you take in between creates an opportunity to focus on what you have to do next. Normally. It takes 15 to 30 minutes to get into the flow state. If you feel interested in the work or you feel hyped up to get it completed, you can increase the work time. But remember that the amount of time you spend on work has to be five times more than the break you take. For example, if you spend 50 minutes working, you can take a 10 minute break. The next method is to challenge yourself. The reason why it's easy to get into the flow state while playing games is because games are challenging and they give us clear objectives to complete. This is probably the most fun technique to use when you don't feel motivated enough to work. After you've set a timer for 25 minutes or more, challenge yourself on how fast you can get the work done before the timer runs out. The sooner you complete it, the more time you can add to your break. By doing this, you get a focus and control on what you are doing and your mind would not wander around for instant gratification through social media. When we are in the flow we won't notice it until we finish the work, so it's important to maintain 100% concentration on the work, and not try to check if we've reached the flow state or not. The final method is to pick a time of the day and stick to it. Meditation, exercise, reading a book, and other simple yet life-changing tasks are the most ignored tasks by people. 
To overcome the habit of procrastination in these situations, imagine how it would shape you in your future. What positive changes would the work bring in you and your life? Visualize the future each time before you begin the work. Practicing this might feel difficult at the beginning, but as you convince yourself a few times, it won't feel like you have to persevere anymore. It soon transforms into a habit. So that's it guys. These are the techniques to be productive when you don't feel like it. Relax your mind. Use the Pomerado technique. Challenge yourself and treat work like a game. Pick a time and stick to it. Thanks for watching. Hope these steps help you to put an end to your procrastination. Leave a like if you learned something new. Subscribe for more useful videos. Stay positive and have a great day.